Hello again, everybody. Today we're looking at a small card game called Ringmaster Welcome to the Big Top. In Ringmaster, you're trying to be the first player to complete one of these attractions. They have win conditions on them. If you have three more sideshows in front of you, you win. So that's what some of the uh, attractions do. Uh, some of the other attractions just count as attractions towards these uh, victory conditions. Another type of card you're going to find in the game is the Sideshow. The Sideshow is a card you can place in front of yourself or your opponent, uh, and sometimes they can really mess players up. Like this one, your attractions count as Sideshows instead. That could really hinder your opponent if they're going for um, one of the win conditions where they need to have so many uh, side uh, attractions in front of them. Um, you have the Star. Uh, the Stars can be played in front of you. The Stars are... Things like the Ringmaster, the Lion Tamer. Um, this one, for instance, you may draw an additional card each turn. So they give you uh, benefits that you can do. Normally on your turn, you're going to have your hand of cards. You can uh, draw a card and then play a card. But if you have things like the stars in front of you, you can do additional actions, like in that case, drawing an additional card. Um, these event cards down here uh, are cards that you play once and you resolve and they go to the discard pile and they give you one-time effects like levitation. You may pick up any card and play and play it. So if your opponent has something you want, you can steal it. Um, there's, uh, I'm not going to show you all the cards in the game, but it just kind of gives you an idea of the types of things you'll see. And what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle this deck together because you're going to deal every player three cards and each player's turn goes draw a card, play a card. And you do this until one player has satisfied one of these win conditions. I showed you the sideshow tent, the big top. If you have five or more attractions in front of you, you win. That also counts as an attraction towards that. Uh, the other win condition is the three ring circus. If you have three three ring circuses in front of you, you win. So it's a race to complete one of those attractions. <clears throat> uh, like I said, it plays in about 10 minutes. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'd highly recommend it for anybody that wants a small filler, maybe play on your lunch break. Anybody who uh, is into flux or games like that where there's some chaos and some take that. But this game feels, I think, a little more controlled than flux. I think there's some cool combos. Uh, one thing I like about the game is outside of the three ring circus and the big top, there's only one of each card in the game. So that makes for a lot of different combinations of cards that can come up. Uh, there's some neat little uh, interactions, some synergy between some of the cards. For a small card game, almost I would say even a micro game, there's only 34 cards in the whole game. It actually has quite a bit going on. Um, I love the old-timey circus uh, theme that they've put on it. You know, Levitation, Ringmaster, the artwork lends itself. If you look at the big top, I mean, it looks like a circus from back in the late 1800s it's a very very cool uh theme it works well with the game the tarot sized cards are very high quality and they kind of fit the theme too because you know the fortune tellers that travel with the circus they use tarot cards to just to, to tell you your future and your your prophecy and all that so it really fits the game and it, it makes the cards look great and they're really fun to handle um <clears throat> I can't say enough about it. It really uh, is one of my favorite uh, quick card games to pull out and, you know, when you're just getting warmed up for a game night or <clears throat> you're at your lunch break. It's really portable. It actually comes with this little drawstring pouch. It's like a little, it's like a felt, very, very nice quality. Um, the game runs about 10 to $15. It's very affordable. Uh, I'd say if uh, you're in the market for a, small card game and you like the look of this, I definitely check it out. I highly recommend it. That's Ringmaster. Welcome to the big top.